your Chris 6 weather forecast. Now, fortunately, our air is pretty clean here in South Texas, unlike uh, some big cities that are further north and not next to the Gulf of Mexico. We had a little boundary today. It wasn't really a cold front. Uh, the first uh, front of the season will arrive here in about three weeks, and that's when we'll be able to say our hurricane season is over with. But for now, we've got the northerly flow aloft, and it did generate some isolated uh, thunder showers this evening, but uh, nothing uh, for the city, of course. Uh, but you can see the activity up around Refurio and then uh, just northeast of Sinton around Woodsboro there and east of Beeville and then north of Mathis, about seven tenths of an inch. Other areas were one to two, inch, uh, two tenths of an inch. So uh, again, some rain around, but not uh, enough to really get excited about. So tomorrow morning at seven, it's going to be quiet and clear. And then we'll see, again, only a lonely shower during the day. Tomorrow, that is it. And we'll continue to dry out and heat up on this northerly flow on Wednesday as well as tomorrow with no rainfall in the Chris 6 viewing area. The heat wave continues today with uh, how many 100-degree days? Today, mark number 38. And again, I've mentioned this before, we've gone some years where we haven't had a 100 degree day at all. And now for 2023, we've had 38 days that have hit 100 degrees. It's just amazing. And there it is in Corpus Christi, 106 in Kingsville. They didn't have the high clouds uh, move over them until late in the day after they achieved the high like we did here. And so Portland was 97, it was 101 in Beeville. But tomorrow it's going to be full sun and everybody's going to be participating in triple digit temperatures except right near the water. 84 south wind at 7, fair skies right now. Got a full moon coming up in a couple nights. It's going to be a blue moon and a super moon all at once. 84 degrees right now here, 87 in Orange Grove. Everybody is in the 80s across the region with the uh, heat index dropping off with the exception of Ingleside. We're at 96. It's still very, very warm outside with the uh, temperatures in the upper 70s overnight. Notice the clear skies. Only a lonely shower tomorrow but pushing 100 degrees at mid-afternoon. Winds will be calm in the morning and light out of the north during the day tomorrow. That's a northerly flow. It's not behind a frontal system. High pressures back off to the west. Northerly flow here on Wednesday morning, but turning easterly in the afternoon and light again here on Wednesday night. So our excessive heat risk continues, but not quite as bad, although very high and up to about 110 plus uh, on uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. But Wednesday, look at this. It really drops off. This is dry air, very dry air and light winds. So that's where that comes from. And the heat index, instead of being up around 120, it'll only be about uh, 10 to 15 degrees less than that here by the time we get to Wednesday. So there's that little uh, uh, instability that went through here with that boundary that has now dissipated across the region. You can see the uh, front stops in Louisiana. There is no front over us. There's no cold front or anything like that. There was the moisture across the region tonight. Night, but notice the dry air piles in here with all the moisture being pulled over to the east into what will eventually be Hurricane Adalia. And this trough of low pressure will pull it up to the north between Tallahassee and Orlando. There's activity uh, out in the Atlantic with Franklin, but staying there. And then you've got Tropical Storm Adalia right here coming off the western tip of Cuba. That system is going to turn into a hurricane tomorrow and uh, move northward and uh, be a Category 3 at Atlanta fall Wednesday morning uh, again on the uh, Florida Peninsula, but it is not a threat, not a problem here, although the big thing will be the high rip current risk, swells and high tides arriving here on Wednesday. So wrapping it up for you, here is the seven day forecast, 102 tomorrow, 74 and 103 on Wednesday, 101 Thursday, and then a return to what we've been seeing, hot and steamy, 96 to 97 Friday through Monday, perhaps a stray shower again here on Labor Day, this time next week. All right, that's a look at the forecast. We'll be back with Larissa and Clara right after.